Hello friends, I am Dr. Pramod Pawar, working with Bharati Vidyapit, Institute of Management and Entrepreneurship Development, Pune, as an Associate Professor in Management Department. Today, we are going to discuss about e-commerce. First, we are going to discuss about the various definitions and services of the e-commerce. The, regarding the definition, the first very simple definition of the e-commerce is doing business online. Means whatever transactions you are doing using internet is nothing but the e-commerce. Another simple definition is buying products and services through web store funds. Web store friends is nothing but the websites. So using website, whatever you are buying products and services is also nothing but the e-commerce. It is buying and selling, marketing and servicing and delivery, delivery and the payment of product, service and information over internet. So using internet, whether you are doing buying and selling, marketing and servicing and delivery and the payment of the products or services or information or the internet is nothing but the e-commerce. One more definition that is a it is defined as a modern business methodology that addresses the desire of firms, consumers and management to cut cost while improving the quality of the goods and increasing the speed of the services. So if you have decided to provide the good service to the customer and meanwhile you want to cut the cost you want to increase the speed of the services so for all that whatever transactions you are doing is nothing but the e-commerce so these are all about the definitions we have discussed after that we are going to discuss what is the requirement of the e-commerce requirement is nothing but suppose you want to establish the e-commerce or you want to start an e-commerce. So for that, what is the minimum requirement for that? The technical components are required. The first one is the client or PC workstation. Means, workstation means computer. You need the computer. Suppose you may be part of the e-commerce and for that, you want to maybe avoid, you want to access the website. And to access the website, Either you can use your smartphone, your laptop, or your PC. Then, after that, we require the transaction server, who is looking after the various transactions or taking care of the transactions. Then, database server, who is responsible to store the database during the transactions. Routers is used to share or the transfer the data or share the data. Modem is required. Modem is an intermediator between your telecommunication line and your PC or your laptop or whatever device you are using for that. Then one more important point again it required it is nothing but the internet communication line or telephone line. Using that telephone line you can access the internet. One more point that is required is a browser software. So, browser is useful to access the website. So, these are the technical components required. Minimum it requires to start the e-commerce or maybe you may be the part of that e-commerce. Then after that, we are going to discuss in short, what are the main functions of the e-commerce? The first function is communication function. Communication function is it is nothing but aimed at a delivery of the information and documents to facilitate business transactions. For example, email. So whatever information you want to deliver or you want to send the document, for that purpose, 
is there a function there is a communication function then after that there is second function is the process management function it covers the automation and improvement of the business processes for example networking two computers together so that they can share and share and data transfer rather than have a person to take data from one computer to another computer means suppose two computers are linked together then it is a process management function is that you can directly share the data or you can directly transfer data from one computer to another computer rather than taking a pen drive copy with that data and go to the another computer and share uh, uh, save that data with another computer so if you have the internet if you have the link near network linking then you can use that so this is another function that is a process management function third one important function that is a service management function application of the technology to improve the quality of service that is a 24 hour service and this is one more important one of the important function of the e-commerce is the service 24 hour service any time you can do the transactions and transaction capabilities another function the transaction capabilities it provides the ability to buy or sell on the internet or some other online services so these are the in short functions of the e-commerce then after we are going to discuss in short that is what are the various advantages of the e-commerce the first advantage is reduce time and processing cost now take the example suppose yes we will go, we are going to compare the traditional business with the e-commerce now take example suppose you want to purchase any item and for the tradi in traditional business to do that action personally you have to visit to the shop and then after you are going to purchase the book or whatever the item you have decided using e-commerce there is no need to physically you have to reach to that shop or you have to visit to that shop directly you can open the website and you can do the transactions so likewise the first advantage reduce time and processing cost the second advantage is world wide area for doing business there is no any boundary limit area limit for the e-commerce anybody can do the e-commerce or anybody can access the e-commerce or do the transaction with anybody there is no any area limit third one is a lower labor charges lower labor charges in the sense or is advantages means when you are comparing the traditional business with the e-commerce take example suppose you are working with an organization and you want to send a purchase order in traditional business you have to use the paper or whatever the prescribed format of purchase order and that prescribed formats are very different from company to company so from for any supplier you want to send the purchase order first you have to write that purchase order and whatever the media whatever the you have uh, suppose you want to send by the post or courier then personally who is the person or the office boy he is supposed to go visit to the post office and drop that purchase order into the post office so in that transaction during that transaction it require the labor so when you compare with the e-commerce there is no need of the person who go to the post office or who supposed to drop the that purchase order to the post office or courier directly to whom you want to give the purchase order then you can open the website of that company or organization and you can fill up you can give the purchase order so there are so many 
each and every transaction it reduces the labor charges then after there is a one more very good advantage is a no limit time means 24 hours a day 7 days a week and 365 days a year any time you can do the transaction at midnight 12 early in the morning in the evening at any time if you do the if you have decided i want i want to purchase in a specific material or in a book directly you can open the website and directly at any time you can do the transaction with that organization so there is no limit of the time this is not happen with the traditional business in traditional business there is a time limit suppose you have decided that late night that you want to purchase some book then in traditional business it is not happen so it is not feasible but using e-commerce you can open the website and you can do the transaction so this is a very good advantage of the e-commerce is a no time limit any time you can do the transaction one more after is a there is a setup cost is very low for the e-commerce it requires the minimum setup cost then more flexibility in website to add and remove product or products than the catalogs or the brochure so when you are doing the advertisement at the time if you are take example suppose you are working with any organization and your organization has decided that one policy or one marketing strategy or one offer that is a for to more if you want to decide to achieve more sell there is one policy is that buy one get three and for that to do the advertisement you have lakhs of the pamphlets or brochures you printed document you have and for next day your organization has changed the policy that is a buy one get five then what is use of that printed material so if you are using the e-commerce then with small changes you can do the minimum in short time you can do the changes with the website so that it will require minimum cost so this is the meaning of that it is more flexibility in a website to add and remove the product or products than the catalog or brochure then variety of option one more advantage is the variety of option see you take example of traditional business suppose you have decided you want to purchase a mobile and your budget is suppose 20,000 in traditional business to compare the mobiles you have to visit the various showrooms and then you have to take the decision it is a time consuming process but using e-commerce there are so many websites are there they are providing the facility of giving the comparison only thing is that you have to give your budget and your what are the specification then according to your budget and specification it gives you the comparative chart so it is very easy to the user to take the decision and directly you can go for that organization or go to that website and you can do the transaction so this is the variety, meaning of the variety of options then another the advantage is reduce ambiguity there is no any doubt there is no any confusion so there are various examples of reduce of the ambiguity or doubt when you take example of the traditional business if the person who is uh, responsible for sending the purchase order and if his handwriting is not good and he has given the order of 100 atoms but it seems look like 200 atoms and if the purchase order is reached at other end and the person who is uh, responsible to create the sales order 
for that if he assumes that that he has given the order of 200 atoms then it is the problem so such type of problems are not there there is no any confusion there is no any ambiguity then one more advantage is is reduce the inventory size because of the reduction in transaction time so many transactions are there in traditional business as well as in e-commerce so it reduces the transaction time and then automatically when the transaction time is reduced then automatically it reduces the inventory size and it also automatically there is a it required or reduce the processing cost so these are the we are discussing the advantages then faster fast transfer of the document and funds on a single click it send data from one place to the another place buyer to seller suppose you are a buyer and you want to send the purchase order then you have to prepare the purchase order with the prescribed format and when using single click when you want to send using internet on a single click you can send that purchase order to the seller so data transfer is very fast no risk no necessary to retain the information yeah so once you create the purchase order then there is no need to the retype that information to the other end otherwise in traditional business suppose you want to send the purchase order then you have to prepare the purchase order then that purchase order when you want to sending to the other end at the time as soon as that purchase order received to the other end or seller side then seller is supposed to be retype that information with the computer system but when you are using the e-commerce then it is not required retype of the information paperless transactions it require minimum papers almost there is no need of the paper all transactions are done automatically the database server is there it stores the database all information then whatever the data you want to retrieve the data in a single click so it require the minimum or less amount of the paper so paperless transactions one more there is a very good advantage of the e-commerce is a it improve the customer service see customer service is a very important factor in traditional business as well as in e-commerce when you take example of e-commerce you take example of any online store suppose you want to purchase any item and when you are giving the purchase order at the time immediately when you click on send button immediately you got the message on your mobile phone that is thank you for sending purchase order then when you want to track your purchase order so frequently they are giving the communicating to the customer is nothing but the giving the service or if you are facing some problem then you can communicate them so they also give respond to you so the, in this way they are improving the customer service then after there is a transfer of data from one computer to the another is automatically automatically transfer data from one machine to the another machine using the devices or whatever the components already we have discussed then one more advantage or benefit there is a minimum transportation cost it require minimum transportation cost take example 
suppose in traditional business if you want to purchase something personally you have to go there using your bike then there are transportation cost is required here using e-commerce there is no need so automatically there is no use of the transportation there is no use of the bike and it also reduce the pollution there is also advantage and you require only the computer internet connection you can open that and you can give the do the transaction with the another party so it require the minimum transportation cost then information is managed more effectively and efficiently whatever information with the e-commerce it manage very effectively and efficiently so database is there as and when you require some information you have to there are it provides some reports past data on a single click or fastly and due to that you can take a decision it may be helpful to the management to take a decision using past data or when and when and we require that past data and in your short time you so we are getting the data then it is very much useful to the management to take uh, certain decisions so whatever data that manage by the very effectively and efficiently then one more benefit the relation with the trading partners are improved so if two partners are there do buyer and seller or two partners for one side there is a for the seller side and due to your service if you are getting the more customers then obviously it whatever the relation between two partners they are improved or take example of the buyer and seller if the buyer is communicating with the seller and immediately seller is giving response to the buyer then automatically the two parties involved in that so the relationship between these two parties are improved then competitiveness age is maintained and enhanced due to the competition whatever the suppose you may be part of that competitiveness or competition then due to the information getting information quickly certain policies you have decide so for that whatever the using e-commerce it provides the data information and because of that you may be in competition and the last there is advantage is a more accurate sales forecasting and business planning so using e-commerce it provides the accurate information for the sales forecasting and business planning suppose you want to do the business plan or you want to decide some policy so for that whatever past data you have you can use that data very efficiently and effectively thank you to the